The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Caution. You are now entering the all-consuming realm of Shay's paranormal chat, where the things that are better left unsaid are actually said. Shut up and sit down. You're listening to Shay's paranormal chat. Paranormal podcasting done Shay's way. Tons of fun. Dude, seriously? A bit sarcastic. Hashtag investigator, not hunter. But always real. Hashtag data, not evidence. Don't get your panties in a twist. Oh my god, really? This is real, raw conversation. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. TGIF. Welcome to Shay's Paranormal Chat. Today is Friday, July 5th, and I hope everybody is having a great holiday weekend. Um, obviously, this is a pre recorded show, but I will be down in the live chat room, so make sure you say hello to me. Um, this is kind of a best of, uh, kind of blunders, bloopers, what the fuck just happened, was that really just said, all wrapped into one. Now, if you listen to the show more than once, twice, three times, you know, we have, uh, bounced between very serious, somewhat serious, crazy hectic, um, and that's done on purpose. We... The main goal, though, is we love getting the true personalities out there. Who is behind the teams? Who is behind the investigating? And you never know what will happen on live radio, especially with somebody like me running it. We've had a great season one, some crazy moments, some awesome guests. And um, on this first segment, um, this little clip I'm going to play from... Episode 10, December 2018. Um, of course, it's the Southern Gypsies. Now, we had some tech issues, and they were so great, and they were they were so well-behaved. I make one little joke, and that's all it took. Here it comes. This is what happens when Shay and Kelly get together with the Southern Gypsies. Yeah. You wanted to know about the runes, honey? Yes, I do. That was the next okay. question. Yeah. Okay, so I want uh, I am very drawn to those, and I'm going to talk to you as much as I can because I haven't been able to study them thoroughly as much as I want to because I really, really want to dig in more. People automatically see them, and they're like, oh, these are just ruins. They're fortune-telling, and da 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 and you could cast them, and then they're going to tell you. But I want you to, that's not the whole gift with runes. That actually is just the tip of it. They're used in magic. They're used as these. You got to think how old these are and how many people have studied them and put their their like energy into them. And, and I'm pretty sure there was some bloodletting with them and things like that. These are very powerful. Um, when we do our Yule, we use runes. And as 
you know, markings and things like that. But they are for divination, but they also are for, you know, they're, they're for magic. People use them in their magic and that they do. So you have to, I, I would love for people to be considerate of that. Like people are just like, oh, these are cool. And you'll see people with like, um, it on jewelry and stuff like that. And that's really, really cool. But you got to also understand that these are years and years of history behind it. Right. Um, so they're very powerful, but casting people do them different ways. They actually, um, these are old and they also stand for the different, um, gods and things like that. And goddesses that they have, um, certain ones that are stand for certain things. So it, it's really neat. It's old. It's, it's different ones. And I, there is the, I think it's, some people call them the Viking ones. Um, those are the ones that I'm really drawn to. Some people call them the wolf ones. I've heard them talk to, about them before. Um, and they're really, really, they're just beautiful. And it, you'll know if that's a tool that you're drawn to. Because you'll know. You'll be like, oh, I really like these. Any tool. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're trying to find your tool, you're drawn to certain ones. And when you're drawn to that, you'll know. That's a lot of, um, it is a lot of, you know, you're talking about druid times and Viking times and things like this. This is old magic. Super cool. Super, yeah. super cool. Re- runes are always something that I've been fascinated in. I just have never sat down and, like, made myself figure them out but they've always always want to i want to touch them when i see them i want to get them in my hands and yeah most people who have a celtic background i'll shit you not if you've got a celtic background at all you're very drawn to them and i think that's just bred into us and and, right um i'm like that too see i don't know as much as i would like to know but currently i have a man in the woods somewhere trying to make me a set of ruins from wood and something about maybe nakedness and blood. I don't know, but I'm going to enjoy him when he gives them to me. I'm good. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> nakedness nice and day. blood. I love hey, it. Hey, don't you out, Dave. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that adds to it. You think his name's going to be something yeah. It's just Dave. It's, it's, it's got to have a snake in there, too. It has to. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, man. He, I, I mean, I met him and. Like I know we start talking about him and he was very drawn to him and he, we, and he was like, I'll make you some, I'm like, do it. And he's just, yeah. I'm hoping that I get him soon. But he tells me, cause a lot of people, when they, he's losing a lot of blood. Don't he? he is. He's losing <laughs> he's a lot of blood. Gotta, you know, he's like, I can't do this right now. He, he did tell me, he's he like, I can, finger. He da- listen, he said he can only make one a day. That's all Dave's willing Dave's to do crazy. is one a day. Oh, hey, crazy Dave. Oh, crazy Dave. The last set that I saw that I really, I mean, I almost bought him, even though I don't do any rune readings, yeah. there was a bone set. And it was yes. just the was coolest thinking. thing. And it's kind of funny because the other thing that I wanted to try to learn, I've got a friend that does bone readings. And um, I thought that would be cool. So, like, bone ter- bone rune readings? I mean, yes. uh, they, they right. almost came with me but i bought tarot cards instead so you know oh my what gosh a bone reading a um, bone reading like well sometimes they they etch things on bones and then they'll cast the bones that's old old school that's like you talking to um hoodoo like voodoo. hoodoo voodoo um old yeah. shamanism things like that they'll cast bones and they'll have symbols on the bones um sometimes they do that is that what you're talking about kelly sometimes it doesn't yeah it really is um so the guy that i know that does them um is based out of des moines and he's got a bag of bones and everybody yep my understanding is they collect their own bones for it. There's no certain set of bones. Um, but, yeah, they'll cast them out, and the way that they land and the different bones will mean different things to him. And I think it's like with any type of tool that we use, there's a certain level of his own intuition that goes into it as well. Um, but right, it's just right. it's fascinating. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by it, but it's just one of those that's like, oh, I really want to do that. Yeah. Yes. That. Where do they get these bones? Because when you well, first said they collect their own bones, I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, no, um, I'm like two seconds in, I'm like, no, Shane, they don't take their own bones. Well, actually, he does, I believe, have a bone of a finger. It's not his, but I do think he's got a little finger bone, I think, if I remember right. <gasps> Oh, oh my god, that's so no, cool. it's not his own. I don't remember where he got like, it from. I but finger off a day. <laughs> so oh, like, yeah. like animal bones, obviously, are, mo- are yes. the majority of them. And so it's going to be, I, I don't even know for sure what they are. But, the, um, but most of them are real bones. From oh, so they're ever. all real bones. They are all real bones. Wow. Yeah. Well, I've they, never heard of that. Yeah, I, I, lady could lady. Hook, I could hook you up with a guy who could tell you all about it, Shay. Maybe we'll have to go into January. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 
I like There's talking to guys about bones. <laughs> 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 and don't we all, all don't we all. So we, did, we did really well <laughs> there's a lady who um talking about the getting the collecting the bones and stuff she goes out this time of year there's a lot of hunters and things like that and she'll go and sometimes just the and and i think it's horrible because i believe that if you're going to hunt that's great you you hunt for and you take and you provide you know you use the meat and stuff like that that's what i believe but a lot of times you'll get people who just want to shoot them and they lay and she'll go and she'll take them for the bones. And then she does make ruins and she makes casting things like that. So that's where it comes from. And a lot of yeah. it is, you know, she just picks up animals along the way. By the way, if you ever meet somebody with a raccoon dick that's pure ivory, you can get money out of that. I don't well, even know what that is. There you go. <laughs> the raccoon cock. Congratulations, Misty. You just rendered us both speechless. I saw your faces. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, takes a, it takes a lot to make me speechless. And right. I, I, <laughs> you want to know how I know that? It's actually was that we were talking about it one day. And she was like, you know, you can get, it's an ivory dick, so you can get money. But then I was in a bar, and this lady That put, might have been foretelling on our it part. It might have been. This I was, lady, like, really talking about it. I was excited, because it's a random, I like weird animal facts. And this was something I read. And I was like, you know what? You know raccoons got coon dicks? <laughs> or ivory dicks? Not that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this the next day this is we why I do podcasting. I learn something new every show. <laughs> <laughs> this lady was at a bar and she picked something. That, she had a cowboy hat, man. She looked like the croc, the lady version of Crocodile Dundee. I shit you not. She picks something out of her hat and starts picking it with her teeth. And I'm like, dude, what, what are you doing? She's like, this is my coon dick, and she puts it back in her hat. I swear to God. And I was like, you know that some bitch is ivory. She's like, hell yeah. That's why I'm picking my teeth. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> You'll see somebody like Granny off <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies out there with the bucket, ripping some poor raccoon's penis off. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I'm just like, ah. Oh. Round I thought about it. I thought about it. I was like, man, I need me some fortune teller bones. Oh, my God. Maybe that, that's you're really horny. It's listen. It's a raccoon penis. Nobody, <laughs> hit, out. nobody hit us on the side of the road. We're just trying to pick up a raccoon dick to read some fortunes. That's all we're doing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh y'all uh, gonna shit if we do bring out some bones man y'all gonna be like i know what they are <laughs> we gotta remember to like pick it up my, my, my luck because i'm driving like a junker truck it's a ugly car i'd have a bucket hanging outside with all these dead animals <laughs> it'll start <laughs> smelling bad yeah. what can we get you from i'm gonna have that yeah. I'll have to ask my friend when i see him next time if in his set of bones if he has a ivory raccoon dick Oh, please. This please, is definitely please. a subject that's going to need to be explored more. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and can- oh, my God. I love the Southern Gypsies. Who doesn't, right? Speaking of my love for Gypsies, the next clips are from episode 14, January 2019, with Paranormal Buzz's own Peggy Gypsy. What happens when Shay and Kelly corrupt Peggy Gypsy? Take a listen. I- I'm behaving tonight, I think. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you haven't cussed that much. <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm going through right now to make sure. While I'm, Kelly, you want to go through and make sure I didn't miss any questions while I, I make the next big announcement? Oh, sure. If you don't mind, if you can. Oh, that's fine. Um, so, not only do we have Peggy Gypsy starring, which she will be into the abyss, Sunday, January 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, but come February, we ha- we will also have REP Paranormal starting Thursday, February 21st, 8 p.m. 7 Central, which everybody in chat will know as Kim Purvis, Kim Addy Purvis, sorry. So, we have a couple. Yes, yes, very excited. Um, excited for both of you guys to start. I can't wait. Yay! Just, We're the new yeah. kids on the block. Be nice to us. 
You know, I'm not, I, I'm nice. If I like you, I'm nice. If I'm not like you, if I don't like you, then, you know, it's up front. So you, you're yeah, already yeah. good. You're already good. Uh, yeah, you've helped me out so much. <laughs> you know. So, and we have another newcomer. I, I know I've missed a lot in between. But we have Ronald. He says, hello, Shay. Hello, ladies. Um, I miss a lot of people. There's tons of chat tonight. And um, I've missed a lot, but I'm trying to keep up. So, okay. You want to so, go ahead. Um, one of the questions that we got a while back um, was, who's someone that you would like to investigate with that you haven't yet? <laughs> I know. Put on the say spot. Dan, Dan okay. Class. No offense to anybody. She doesn't. I, name. You know what? I am so happy that this is not like a like a video thing because my face gets red when I get put at the spot. I'm like, oh shit. Who would I like to investigate? Let's see. Um, Zach Bagans. What? I really? would love. I know. I know. But I would love to investigate with him. Sorry. I'm supposed to be like diplomatic. <laughs> I know. I was afraid. <laughs> no, I get where she's coming from, though. I would like to just investigate it with him one time because. Just one time. I say this, it, and even as I'm saying this, it's hard for me to say, but maybe he's not quite as bullshit as he seems to be. You know, I mean, maybe there's truth to it. So, but, you know, I would investigate and not have it be recorded because I feel when it's not being recorded, people are more likely to be themselves. Yeah, and maybe he will run around and be like, "It's a demon roach. Oh, it's demonic roach. You know, oh my oh, god!" I feel like maybe it'll be a different level of Zach. So that's someone that I have on my list that I would like yeah, to investigate. Dude, with. He'll take his shirt off and I'll be like, "Yeah, okay." And what is wrong with that? No, what's, what's, what's wrong right with there? The benefit shirt, shirt off, <laughs> Kelly. Don't come get me on, going. No, no, you just okay. make, hey, is you this just, an investigation slash date, Zach? Like, what's going on? Put your shirt back on. <laughs> you just talked me into going. <laughs> like, when are we going? <laughs> really? Um, Zach, yeah, if I'm, you're listening, I, message me. We'll investigate. <laughs> you must take off your shirt. No. <laughs> it is a requirement. It'll be in the contract that at least 50% of the investigation is shirtless for you, <laughs> not me. Wait, I think, I, I wonder, <laughs> is there something wrong with me then? Because I'm like, I'm just like, yeah. I would investigate with anybody in this world. Joe so Schmo down the street before Zach Bagans. See him and Tennessee Wraith Chasers. They look like some fun guys. So they look yes, like a good time. Them? Oh, I'm in. Tennessee Wraith Ch- I'm in. But Zach Bagans, like, yeah. You couldn't pay me. You couldn't pay me to investigate with him. But so when I get the call, Wraith Chasers, so I'm when in. I get the call, they said I could bring someone. It's definitely not you, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't. I don't. Anyways, let's see. What does she have to say? But hey, it could be because I want to investigate with him or I want to use all the equipment that they have. Like, I Jesus. would if it was too. They have of, everything. Um, I would, I would to a point where I like to see what they're really like, but they, anyway, yeah, no. And how much of it is pressure from the show? You know, how much of it is because they are a TV show yeah, that they're being are. pressured for it to be sensationalized and pressured oh, for them to come up with stuff, you know? So I think there's a lot of truth to what Peggy was saying. If you get them off the air, is are are they still the same type of people? I've because heard, I've heard him, not the other people. Yeah. From multiple people that he's a douchebag off the air. Whether that's true, and I, I have no idea. I've never met the guy. No clue, so I, I have no idea. I'm just going, you know. And all I can say is, though, I mean, just because I've been on a show like that doesn't mean they have to be a, a douche. You know, Nick Groff is one of the nicest on, on people the, um, in the world. The, yeah, um, he, is, he is a very... He's just nice so down to earth. And humble person. Yes. He's down to yes. earth. It's like... It's, it's so funny to watch him when he's out in public and all the people are coming up and they're like, oh, my God, you're Nick Groff. He's almost and embarrassed. He's just, you know, he's he, almost yeah, like, oh, my yeah, gosh, I'm not. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm Nick. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I it's so cute. About Nick Groff from the beginning. Never, ever. It's Yeah, I was, you know, and I knew just from his energy and from talking to him a little bit that that he was like that. But to be able to just kind of stand back and watch him at an yeah. event. And Do you know how what people would say about me if I ripped my shirt off every other investigation? 
and was <laughs> yelling demons. Do you know what people would say about me? <laughs> just because I don't, I don't make billions of dollars. But oh my god! Do you, you're, you're making me start like, laughing. <laughs> I, I think it's a whole different thing for you and I to rip our shirts off, Shay. Yeah, I don't think none of us need to be ripping a shirt off on TV. Like, no. You know, I just, I don't uh, care. I mean, if you think about it, like, you know, like Kelly said, I mean, they've been around for so long. So it's like every episode has to be outrageous. I hate and, But if you go back, you know, season one, season two, I mean, everybody wanted to investigate with these guys. Everybody was like, oh, they're so awesome. They're so cool. Yeah. But, you know, when you're, it's a lot of pressure when you're on a, an it a TV show. It's like, you know, yeah. your next episode has to be better than the one before. Your season has to be better than the one before. The rating. So it's a lot of pressure. So it's like, does he come off, you know, like a douchebag? Absolutely. Is everything demonic on the show? According to them, that's what they think, you know. That's but where you need to draw the line between entertainment. Yeah, it's TV and at the end of the day. paranormal investigating. Yeah, Zach Bagans is good at what he does. Don't get me wrong. He is entertainment. They put on a show. They make millions of dollars. Awesome. But that's what it is. That's not what we do in real life. And people. Oh, no. Like I tell people like, no, it's not like ghost adventures. Not everything is demonic. And when that, have you ever seen a demon? Have you ever been me personally? Let me knock on wood. Hold on. I got to knock on my head. I never have. I'll knock on my head. I've yeah. never seen a demon. I've never experienced a demon. No, yeah. it is not like Ghost Adventure that every episode, no. every house, every location has a demonic entity. Uh, yeah. It, Asshole it's entity? Such a rare, Absolutely. rare occurrence. Yeah. It's so rare. It's like, you and know. Why would know. they? I mean, if you're a demon, if you're at that status level that it, you're really a demon, don't you have better things to do than come harass some middle aged woman who is just out having fun? I mean, come yeah, on. Like, they don't want to bother us. We're, they're like, yeah. <laughs> They're small potatoes. We don't want to deal with that. Right, you know? exactly. So, uh, well, before we get sued by Mr. Baggins, and let's change Oh, topic. if I was going to be yeah, sued, I would have been sued years ago because it's nothing new. We love Listen, you. Zach, you want to investigate with me? Follow me on social media. <laughs> and again, don't take off, nothing don't take off your shirt. Personally. We'll turn just... off the cameras. <laughs> no cameras. Oh. Just a real. No, 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 no. Kelly, I see your face. <laughs> No, I meant as a real investigation, not, this, this is not some chicken bow wow time here. I, I, let me tell you, I just bit my tongue, legit. We tell I people, tongue make sure you have wine for this conversation, like, we're going to be a riot tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I was going to ask another question, there was another question. Hey, you I can't even remember, me. because now I'm like, so like, flustered, I'm like, <laughs> off in a dark place let's turn off the camera oh my gosh bring it back bring it- all right guys so this last clip is something um everybody knows our good friends raven rose cynthia and roland well a little backstory on this episode uh i was already having trouble with audio it was the night my splitter started going so i was trying to fix that and somebody banged on the window next to me where I was sitting and then there was a fight so uh, I had to keep muting and Cynthia did a great job it was just her and I on this episode she kept the show going for me so we get all that straightened out and Roland decides to crash the show a couple times which wouldn't be a funniest moment if I did not include them I could do a whole show on funniest moments with them between us being on their show, them being on our show. But this is one of those what the fuck just happened moments. So I wanted to include it. So after he crashed the show a couple times, I finally just invited him back. And this is what happens. This is a few different clips put in together. And by the way, Roland, I am still waiting for my cheeseburger with no onions. So you better hurry up and get on that. This is from episode 33 um, from May 2019. Hope you enjoy it as much as I did. The last time we were down there, it was Roland and I and two of our friends. And um, that was the second time we'd been there. And we were just... uh, Speak of the devil and he freaking calls. Hang on a second. That's okay. I can talk to the chat people. Hello, well, Matt. I was say, you can hear Roland, too. I've got... Hi. 
I, I told rolling. you you couldn't be a guest tonight, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so what's the channel that I should be listening to, like the two witches of Eastwick? <laughs> Paranormal by the radio, babe. Okay. I don't care. Okay. I'll take a cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> they want a cheeseburger. Thanks. Okay. No onions. <laughs> no onions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. gonna text him right now. And she says, "Do you want?" Or he says, "Do you want Burger King, McDonald's? What do you want?" <laughs> uh, whatever FedEx will deliver. <laughs> Um, whatever FedEx will deliver, babe. Which one? Whatever FedEx will deliver. <laughs> okay. I can't guarantee that it will be edible by the time you get there, but yeah, true. You know. Okay. Well, she should have just texted you the number. So if you want to call in. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> Jess says pizza, pizza, and Jen says tacos. Everybody's putting in their orders, man. That's going to be. Yeah. So when he calls in, it's going to put you on hold. Just so you're okay. fully aware. Okay. okay. I'm all good. Yeah. It just puts you on hold when he calls in and then. Okay. Hold on. Have to, I'll add you right back. It just takes a minute. Okay. Works for me. Yeah. I sent him a messenger. Know. I don't have his phone number. Take fries. <laughs> there um, I'm sure he'll see it. Yep. Hold on, we'll be right back. Well, with you, Cynthia, they'll still hear us. Hello, you are live with Shay Shit Show. Yay! Yay! Here we go. I'm adding Cynthia back now. Hi, everybody. They're all <laughs> putting in their orders, so. Yeah, well, see, I still have to go. I still have to figure out what to get for food. Yeah. Uh, Okay, you're going to hear me order uh, burgers, so if you want to have your order, put it in. Call it now. <laughs> so if anybody wants any food. No, but um, yeah, I saw you come back, Shay. That's why I asked. What do you yeah, have, Shay? I would like, yeah. hold on. I would like a double cheeseburger, medium fries, medium diet Dr. Pepper. I should have muted it. it. I was going to say, he could have muted it. I tried muting him. I couldn't. That's all right. This is funnier. You, you can't I mean, mute him. Yes, a, di a medium diet coke. You know of all people. Okay. You cannot mute him. And then I like a six-piece chicken nugget. That's what they say about me, too. That's probably why we get along. <laughs> okay. And I like two apple pies. I had a demonologist on the show three weeks ago. Two apple pies at that? Two. <laughs> yes, if you got him. Yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't okay. that long ago. Oh. And that is it. Okay, so how many of that? James Alito? I need a burger. That was end of April, I believe. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Um, I should have sat there saying I want a large orange drink. You never know what will happen on live radio, but after a rough night like I had that night, it was so great to have friends on the show while it was all going on who supported me and kept me laughing. So I truly appreciate that. So special shout out to Raven Rose, Southern Gypsies, and Peggy Gypsy. From Kelly and I, we really appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you for listening to our show, putting up with our shenanigans, and good night. Thank you for listening, and for all things Paranormal Buzz Radio related, check out our website at paranormalbuzzradio.com. Like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.